a purpose-driven company and uh, we truly believe in improving the quality of lives of others and I know we need to bring that to life even more uh, but that's why I'm here. You know it was a uh, it was interesting I was in I was definitely looking for a change uh, this came up kind of unexpectedly and it, a very easy decision I was uh, 20 years as a competitor of Hager's and so I've grown up in the paint industry and when this came about it was an easy transition and, and just seemed like a natural fit. The amount of success that they've had uh, and that they've been in the industry um, and really in this market for 90 years, uh, not many brands can say that, not many brands can say that and also say, you know, we're still in the pants business. I was really excited about coming to work for Hager after I met Michael Stitt, our CEO, uh, and we had a discussion about what he wanted to do with e-commerce at Hager. Uh, and so I decided to come because it was a great challenge. Uh, men's and men apparel shopping is one of still the untapped market on the internet. The people, are, the employers are friendly and always made me feel like family. So it was, it was an easy choice to make. I worked here because I heard that Hager made good pants. And so I did so and so I, when I came to work, here, I was actually looking for a sewing job and they had a, a job of a file clerk. So I took the job as a file clerk and making two dollars an hour at that time. And then that got promoted and promoted and promoted and this is where I am now. 46 years later I'm still here and I love it here. When I saw the company is I really saw a lot of bright people and I really saw that they're going to be going into barcoding, which is no one else was doing at that time. And, and bottom line is, it's distribution oriented. It, it was my position of being an engineer. And I thought, if you are doing really good things in distribution, you basically can go anywhere else. It's, just, you know, it's not whether it's computers or apparently anything. At the time, it was because the what they offered to pay me, and uh, they paid the employment agency fee way back when. They were paying 50 cents more an hour than minimum wage. <laughs> so. I was international student um, and I was looking for the job. When I was looking for the job, one of my favorite professors um, referred me to this company and I, I was really lucky that uh, getting into a really good team um, and we had a very good interview so I decided to join this. It was really the people. Uh, when, when I was uh, here interviewing at, at Hager, I was really uh, impressed by the culture and the people. Really felt like home. Uh, one big, one big family. Felt like we could really work well together. But everyone's really focused on on improving our top line and our bottom line result for the company, along with focused on improving the culture and making sure people are really engaged and happy um, while they work here at Hager. It was a choice between a summer day camp or starting at that very first Hager Outlet store in Hillsborough, Texas. So one of them offered air conditioning and the other one didn't. So it wasn't like I was on an extensive career search. Uh, I was just on a summer break from college and I was about to go back and coach baseball for the university I played for. And uh, I got in the Hager pipeline and went from a salesperson in a store and then they gave me a key and then up, up, up. I got a call out of the blue from uh, my old boss, uh, Dennis Staub, uh, who had, uh, was talking about Hager. And I'd grown up with Hager. I knew Hager was in Dallas and Fort Worth in the area. So uh, I, I kind of jumped at the chance to work with new software and, and with uh, Hager as a company. I came into the office and had a conversation with Michael uh, and I remember walking out you know, and, uh, and, and calling my wife and saying, hey, I may kill my career. I may have to drive trucks for a living after this. Uh, but there's something here. This guy has a vision that I haven't seen in a really long time and that you don't see uh, in a lot of companies. And uh, you know, I, I kind of made that leap um, just really because of that and, and kind of uh, who Hager was about and what he wanted to do with the company wanted to be a general counsel. This was uh, a great company to become a general counsel for. And they had never had a general counsel before. So I could come in and define my own role and uh, run that, that position without any kind of 
preconceived notion about what a general counsel should or shouldn't be. It just felt right. You know, I got a phone call uh, sort of out of the blue. Uh, I wasn't even applying. I wasn't even really familiar with the company. Um, and it just seemed like most of the major decisions I've made, the feeling just felt good. It felt right. Um, I met with a lot of people, and every time I, you know, came to the headquarters to meet somebody, it just felt like a good fit. I was introduced to the company and the brand, I think it was 1995, and I was fortunate to have the opportunity to spend time in Dallas from 95 to 90, 99, um, meeting the Hager family and just getting to know the business. And then in 1999, the Hagers decided to open a subsidiary in Canada and they asked me to lead that subsidiary. Um, so I was very fortunate to have that opportunity and I've been with the company now for 16 years. After 90 years, uh, we still uphold the integrity that J.M. Hager built this company on and that style, quality, and craftsmanship at affordable prices. You feel like family. You, you see people in the hall hugging and you laughing. It, it, it's, it's a fa family atmosphere. So. That's, that's, that was make Hager the, the family feeling that you get when you come to work. It's a, a company that uh, tries to do as much as they can for, for their folks. You know, uh, and at the same time for, the, for their customer. You know, we, we kind of go overboard when it comes to the customer. It's just what is being done here, uh, really what's being cultivated here is just special. Um, so attention to detail, quality, uh, great people, um, and just lots of rich history uh, to really pull from, you know, and experiences uh, and roads that we've already been down that other brands are, have yet to see. It was the people. I got close with the Hager family and they was just, just incredible people. And, and the rest of the employees, just, just, it's like a family. It just made me feel good. It, I stayed here for the people, it's not the money. So. There's no layers. I mean, everyone within the organization is very approachable. Uh, the open door policy, you know, starting with Rob and Michael, uh, very approachable, easy to work with. Um, I also think it's the fact that everyone within the organization is really focused. You know, as I mentioned before, really wanting to um, make sure that we're successful as a company. Uh, also really focused on the community, giving back along with um, the well-being of the employee base here at, at the headquarters, the CSC, along with uh, everything that we do for our factories abroad, you know, with uh, providing them with the, um, the water filtration systems, the medical camps, etc. Not a lot of companies can say that they do that. We feel cared about by upper management and it's in that everyone really, I feel that everyone really cares about each other within the company on all levels and that's very important because you feel uh, relevant. It all goes back to the people for me. I mean this is like my family. Very family oriented. Uh, I think, in my opinion, it's, it, they've come across as caring. Um, they try to stay active and involved and get, get the employees involved. A lot of morale lifting, you know. I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, that's um, what I've seen and, and everyone participates. First of all, we have 90 years of history and that history uh, hasn't been the easiest all the time but we've overcome. So it used to be a family-owned business, great roots in Dallas and the community, um, even started in the Great Depression, and over time has had different owners, the family has moved out, and it still perseveres. We're having the best years ever. Since it was a family-owned company, a family-ran company, I think the people sort of felt like they owned it, and if Hager succeeds, they succeed. And, um, and I think that sort of uh, made the difference of how it could last 90 years because people were passionate about um, the success. The people here at Hager are like family. And when I was working with Grandpa Hager and Joe Hager and Ed Hager and all of them, they treated each of their employees just like family. And it wasn't like you were an employee and you looked up to Mr. Hager and you admired what he did. And he created a great company. Hager's always found a way to make it fun and uh, treat you with respect, even whenever I was a 
small child working for six bucks an hour, you know, they, they treated us right and we're going to try to keep doing that. The office environment is, um, it's just really great. I feel like the company is small enough that you really get to know a lot of people in different fields and I feel like you learn so much from people throughout all the different departments, not just within your own and I think that's really rewarding. We take care of each other, not just on the job and also something in the life. If something goes wrong, we help each other anytime. We build great quality product that's fashion right at a good value. And I know that was always Mr. Hager's um, point of view and what he tried to accomplish. I think it's first and foremost the people. And in particular, the fact that everyone here is so passionate about what we do. And people really care about the history of the company and the success that we have today and that we have to have in the future. So it's that passion and work ethic um, that really motivates everyone and makes this place a great place to work. Tradition, we've been around uh, since 1926. We uh, have a lot of employees here who have uh, worked here 20 years or more and uh, uh, used to know the Hagers themselves. Uh, uh, we have a, a history of innovation with, with our product. I think everybody's passionate about Hager. You look at the people that we have here, we have roughly 150 people in this building, 150 people in the distribution center and around 800 employees elsewhere, either in the stores or overseas. Um, and what's a common thread is they want Hager to succeed. Uh, there's a lot of long-term employees here. If you go in the building here, there's probably about a quarter of the people here have been here 25 years or more, which really speaks to um, what it's like to work at Hager. There have been genuine relationships um, built up to where I look forward to coming into work, and I think a lot of people would say they look forward to seeing a lot of those same faces um, week in, week out, so that when Monday morning comes on board, it's almost more of a welcoming um, I look forward to seeing that group of people. It's the people. I mean, it's, for me as a general counsel and for any lawyer, they want to have clients that they trust. And I've never had an issue with that here at Hager. I can't say that's true to every company, and it's certainly not true of every client, but Hager's always had people on the management side as well as the other employees um, who are very trustworthy. And as a lawyer, it was easy for me to do my job by comparison to many other lawyers' jobs because I could trust my client. The associates, it's all of us. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it is, I, I, I don't, I'm not joking when I say Hager is a family of mine. Uh, there's a level of comfort here. I, I love how we work together, that collaboration. I think it's improved over the years. Um, and, and it's one of those things that, you know, we just happen to make pants in the whole that's you know that's the end of that kind of logic train um, and, and it's a beautiful thing to kind of come to a, an office and come to an organization um, that is really kind of focused on driving the business but also doing it the right way and doing it together. Family and tradition because Everybody here is like family to me, and then we stay true to our traditions. Quality, craftsmanship, um, dedicated uh, individuals who are not only uh, dedicated to a quality product, but even impacting um, and growing uh, and really enriching the lives of everyone who has a hands on uh, bringing ideas to fruition. The word Hager means a great product, Hager means family. I think it's the people and the products and how we have amazing and great people here. And because of that, we make amazing and great products. Comfort. Uh, so it's comfort for our customers and comfort for our employees as well. And knowing every morning I get to wake up and come here, it's very comfortable. Um, it's stability um, and family. Hager means stability to me as a as a father. You know that you are able to provide for your family, so it's it means being having a stable job, knowing that 
people are gonna care about the people are gonna care about you if something happened to your family. And it goes back to the family atmosphere. So I think because because it's family and, and that, that what makes Hager that what it mean to me, a family. A extended family. Yeah. I'm proud that we have good products and I'm proud that, you know, it's um, the company is just well respected and that means a lot too to work for a company for whom you have respect and, uh, and other people do as well. When I think about the company and the brand, I guess a few words come to mind. Number one, quality. That we're so focused on not only delivering the highest quality product, which we do, but just having this expectation of delivering high quality in everything we do as a company. That's probably number one. Number two is innovation. We've always been a company that has been first to market um, and we continue to kind of strive for that and show the marketplace what they haven't seen before. The last is just a caring kind of environment that we care about the associates and all the stakeholders that we touch from our customers to our factory workers overseas and really everyone that we do business with. This family, away from home, second family. What Hager means to me is it's like home. I mean, uh, actually, I've been married to Hager longer than I've been married to my wife. Just, I mean, and it's, it's just been uh, since I've been out of college and, and grew up. I grew up with Hager, and um, I think it was just, I mean, it was a special place. I've had offers along the way, and I've talked with other people, but it really wasn't, you know, something that it would suit me at that time, or I thought it was going to be a better offer. Uh, better option. The, a lot to me I mean it's where I started my sort of design and career, uh, career. I have a sort of a passion for menswear design and um, they gave me an opportunity to come here and learn and sort of work but learn at the same time um, and everybody's sort of shooting shooting for you to be successful in whatever you do here um, so I mean just like I said like family it's a sort of a sort of a family here, and I think mostly family wants you to succeed. So I feel they gave me a young guy an opportunity to come here and learn all of that he can. So when he goes on to his next adventure, he could um, be successful. So I think it's a great um, learning opportunity here, for sure. Very good brand, and the customers respect us as well. You know, they think we know what we're doing, and I don't think they're wrong. Hager is an iconic brand that um, is known for providing high quality value um, apparel for men, really focused on you know quality, comfort. There are very few companies that have been in existence for 90 years, and the thing that, that is most important to me about Hager, and the thing that's important, I think, to, this, to our employees is, this is a company that still has lots of potential for growth and opportunity. Uh, in the marketplace and for its employees. So the, I think the great thing about Hager is it's, it's a brand that, that has this huge legacy, but still has lots of, of potential for growth in the future. It stands for comfort and value, and the price point is really unbelievably low. For, in the, you know, if you look at dress pants, it, uh, most people can't find a pair of dress pants for under Forty dollars, mostly you look for between ninety and one hundred and fifty is probably the, where most of them at. So the value's there, and the quality's there. It's been my family. It's my my uh, my safe haven, and uh, I've learned everything that I know about the business here at Hager. I've had some great mentors, some great teachers, and um, I, I've just really enjoyed enjoyed being here. Hager has come to mean a lot more to me. Um, it's come to mean sort of that sense of comfort, uh, the sense of integrity, the sense of um, effort, but also a little bit of a reward associated with that effort. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of people here that really care about what they do. They care about their job um, and they really want to succeed. We're at a belt store and and heading out from a, visiting the store, heading out to lunch, and lunch was literally 50 yards away from where we parked. And we're just like, get in the car, you know, we're in a charger, get in the car, and punch it, you know? And, and Michael and, and, and Tad in the back seat and Tony in the front, and we, are, and, and we just floored it and got there in about three seconds and 
Michael was like, okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed it when we went to the ballpark, um, to the Rangers game. I think that was a lot of fun. A lot of people enjoyed that. There was a lot of, uh, I think, just fun interactions that people were able to have outside of the workplace um, and really sort of connect with each other on a personal level. Um, I enjoy the fact that a few people uh, at Hager sort of uh, make an effort to generate ongoing uh, activity outside of work. Um, uh, we have frequent happy hours that a lot of people will join and attend. It's fun. Well, the great memory that I, one of the great memories that I had with Grandpa Hager was whenever I was buying the piece goods and raw materials, he had a conversation one time with Burlington that was trying to get him to pay another nickel a yard for fabric. And uh, the uh, a couple of the guys from Burlington were down here, and and they said, Mr. Hager, this is this is a nickel more yard. And Mr. Hager said it's not, and he called me and told me to bring the contracts to him. So I took the contracts in to him, and I said, No, sir, Mr. Hager signed these contracts and it's a nickel lower than what you're saying, and he's and. And they finally agreed, and Grandpa Hager gave me 25 cent an hour raise. <laughs> I remember being a little kid going to quality picnics in Fort Worth at CSC, which is where my mom worked. And I remember being there, having a fun time, and seeing uh, Hager, his employees, seeing the company, how, it, how they all are. And I never thought that I myself would be a part of this great company now. 20 years later. When uh, we built the, the CSC, the distribution center, it's a $35 million project. I was project manager and then seeing that through and then we actually were trying to go live when the roof collapsed so that just made it significantly more difficult to, to handle. Um, but it was just when we were able to have the building running like it was supposed to, that was probably, I don't know what specific day, but when all the bugs and issues had, and you know, we had a lot of good people that helped start up the building, and almost all of them, the main people, are there today, which says a lot. Bobby Smith used to get these ABC books. She remembered this, and I threw hers away, and she she was happy. She said, uh, "What happened to my ABC books?" I said, "I threw them away." She said, "You had no business throwing nobody mail away that that has their name on it." And I never throw a piece of metal with it since then, to this day. Being in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, at a Red Lobster with Brian Collins and David Miles, uh, and uh, ordering the biscuits. It's a very good dinner. Some of the uh, corporate outings that we've, we've done as an organization, the most recent one being the, the Texas Rangers outing, it's really neat that we're able to go out and do that as an organization, spend time together, have some fun. Um, you know, I really like the fact that Hager, Hager, we work hard and we play hard. Mr. J.M. Hager, when he was alive, um, like he always called me Dimples, okay? Um, when he was in a good mood, he called me Dimples. And I always think it was because he couldn't remember my name. Um, and when he, was in a, when he was not in a good mood, it was, hey, you girl. A couple of years ago, um, for April Fool's, I brought in donut holes and I injected them with ketchup and they were out and everybody was eating them and the, the ketchup was exploding in their mouth. So <laughs> that's one of my favorite memories with Hager. The Willie Nelson cover band for our Christmas party that we had. <laughs> I think that was, that was a pretty good highlight. I had two babies here. Uh, my older son and the younger son I just hired two months ago. And uh, everyone was really happy for me and they gave me a really good baby shower and I was very touched. I think store openings and expanding the Hager Direct Empire has been probably the two things that really stick out. The daily uh, being able to uh, get greeted by Joni and get a hug from Joni and uh, make a pact to have a great day uh, together. It's been a very successful uh, tenure for me and uh, we've had great success in the legal world here on the human resources side and it, but I think that there's still lots of room for improvement and uh, for improving the way we do things as a company and for the way we do things as a human resources department and there's still a lot of issues that we can always address as a legal department. When we had a few hundred people overseas, 
um, who ended up getting sick from some water that they drank at a factory, not that we own, but that we use. And we went and sat down with the factory owner and said, what can we do to avoid this in the future? And we basically invested in a complete water filtration system for the factory um, that positively influenced 2,500 workers at this factory. So essentially ever since that point, um, all the workers have clean drinking water and clean water to wash their hands and nobody's been sick since then. When folks call in and ask for Hagger or say, is this Hagger? And I go, well, you know, I try to say it real diplomatically, it's Hagger. And, uh, and then sometimes they even say, is this haggard? And I, I feel like saying, well, I feel a little haggard today, but this is Hager, and I'm proud that it's Hager. And, uh, but that's funny, the different pronunciations. I can't even say it. The different pronunciations that people use, but I am proud that it is Hager, not Hager, or Hager. Hey, am I supposed to be in this meeting? No! What are you guys doing? We're wishing Hager a happy 90th anniversary! Okay. Happy anniversary, Hager! Happy 90th anniversary, Hager! Happy anniversary, Hager. I'm proud and happy to be a part of this family uh, organization and I uh, wish continued success. Happy 90th anniversary! Happy 90th anniversary, Hager! Happy birthday, Hager. Uh, happy 90th. Uh, here's to many, many more. Uh, look forward to being involved uh, throughout the years. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Uh, congratulations to all those folks out there, and, and uh, uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Happy anniversary, Hager, and I've been here one year. Hope to celebrate uh, many more with you guys, and, and uh, 90 years, that's a big deal. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary, Hager. Thanks for dressing men since 1926. Happy 90th anniversary. Happy 90th anniversary, and I hope we have many, many more happy years at Hager. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager Company, and I hope we have 90 more. Happy 90th birthday to Hager Clothing Company, Hager, Hager Apparel, and what else, what else we're going to call it in the future for uh, continued profitable growth, also the innovation that stayed with the company, and also have fun. Well, happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Uh, here's to another 90. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. You're doing fine, you're doing well. Continue uh, doing the great things that you do. Happy 90th anniversary, and I hope that uh, there's many, many more to come. Uh, and I hope I'm here for at least the 100th. Happy 90th anniversary, everybody. Congratulations to everyone who've uh, made this company what it is. Uh, look forward to many more years to come, thanks. Happy 90th anniversary. Happy 90th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Hager. It's been a great uh, 90 years, and then I'm sure it will be a lot longer from here on out. Happy, happy 90th, and I uh, look forward to uh, uh, many more years at Hager. Happy anniversary, Hager. I'm so proud that Mr. Hager came over from Lebanon all those years ago, and I'm so thankful that Hager is doing well, and I hope that we will continue to prosper for many years to come. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. I look forward to the next 10 years celebrating our 100th anniversary. I look forward to 90 more years with Hager, not me personally, but 90 more years with Hager, and uh, congratulations. Uh, let's celebrate. Happy 90th anniversary, Hager. Happy 90th anniversary, and I feel so proud um, and privileged to work here for the last 16 years. Um, and I know that it's going to be an incredible future for everybody here at Hager.